Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen and today we are going to tackle a very interesting uh, lead code problem combination. So this problem is uh, all about generating combination of number. So it's a great opportunity to explore some fundamental concept in combination. So the problem asks us to generate all possible combination of key numbers from a range of one to n. So now let's break down uh, the approach before we dive into the uh, coding. So, uh, for example, if we have n4 and key 2, we need to choose uh, sets of two numbers uh, from uh, 4. So, total uh, combination is 6 and we need to return uh, all of them uh, as in this uh, example. So, uh, and we are going to be implementing a custom generator function. So, generate combination to generate all possible combinations. So this function will take two parameter, element, which represent the number to choose from, and num, which is the number of elements in each combination. So we'll start by converting our elements to a tuple for efficient indexing and initialize an array, a current indices to the first num indices. And we then enter a loop where in each iteration, we generate a combination by picking elements from our tuple using the indices in current indices. And this combination are then yield. So uh, let's uh, start uh, our coding. And uh, yeah, so I will implement it and then explain everything. So def generate combination elements num element tuple will be tuple element total will be len element tuple and if num greater than total we return uh, and current indices uh, will be list range of nums and while true yield uh, yield tuple element tuple or i in range current uh, indices. So uh, now that we got uh, the generate uh, combination function down, let's move on to the next step. So we need to increment the indices in uh, current indices to generate new combination. So we start from the end of current indices and move toward the uh, start looking for an index that hasn't reached its maximum value, which is a position from the end of element uh, tuple. Uh, so if we find such uh, index, we increment it and set all subsequent indices to be one greater than the previous uh, index. So uh, for index in reverse range num if current index index not index plus total minus num uh, we break and else so and we repeat this process until we have uh, generated all possible combination and if we don't find any index to increment we break uh, out of the loop and return from the function and return and current current indices index plus one for j in range uh, plus one num and current indices j current indices j minus one plus one. So yeah, as mentioned before, we repeat this process until we generate all possible combination. And uh, if we don't find any index to increment, we just break out of the loop and return uh, uh, from the function. And finally, in the main combination method, we call our core uh, logic. So generate combination with range one to n plus one and key as argument. And the return combination are tuples, so we use a list comprehension 
to convert each combination into a list before returning. So return list of combination for combination in generate combination range one to n plus one for key. So this is our implementation. So uh, let's run it and see if it's working. So yeah, all working perfectly. Uh, and now let's take a deeper look at the logic behind this code. So the key part is a condition. If a current index and not a index plus total num, so uh, this part, and it checks if the current index has reached its maximum value. Index plus total minus num. So is uh, the maximum value uh, that the index at index can take. So uh, if the current value is equal to the maximum, it means uh, we need to move to the previous uh, index. And by using the condition, we ensure that we always generate combination in increasing order. So for example, for uh, n uh, equals four and key equals two, our function will generate one, two, then one, three, then one, four, and so on. So this uh, is a standard method in combination uh, for uh, generating uh, a combination in uh, combinatoric mathematics. So without uh, replication and uh, it's quite efficient. So uh, this is all for this video. So last part is to submit and see how our code uh, works. So I'm submitting it and let's see. So our uh, code is really uh, runtime efficient. So it beat 99.9% uh, .9 with respect to memory, uh, beating uh, yeah this peak and this peak as well. And with respect to memory, it looked like it beat 7%. But if we look, so most of the solutions are uh, 80 point free uh, memory and our solution is just uh, 80 point seven so it's not a big uh, difference uh, and yeah this is due to using a different uh, data structure and yeah all right so I hope you found this uh, video helpful uh, in understanding how to generate combination in Python and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more coding uh, tutorials and challenges. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down uh, below. And if you are uh, posting uh, the solution, uh, will be uh, posted in the description in other programming languages like uh, C++, Java, JavaScript, and C Sharp uh, in the description. So as always, thanks for watching, keep practicing, happy coding, and see you next time.